it is day two of severe weather awareness week and today we're talking about warnings and warning reception how you find out what's going on now a few steps and how you know if you should be paying better attention through the course of a day we will talk about severe risk now the storm prediction center issues uh, different levels of severe risk from marginal to slight enhanced moderate and high risk days now high risk days even moderate days pretty rare but a lot of times you'll hear your meteorologist talking about a slight risk for example or a moderate risk and as those levels go up your risk increases from limited intensity of thunderstorms to a few intense ones to very intense storms and also better chances of tornado outbreaks as well so if you ever hear one of us talking about a severe risk day and it's one of those higher levels you'll want to stay more weather aware that day if a watch is issued a watch is issued for a large area, maybe an entire state or a number of states, and they're issued in the form of a box by the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma. They cover large portions of states or states, and they typically last six hours in length or possibly longer. We will highlight the counties much like this. You'll see it on our newscasts. Now, these are meant to give you a heads up that there is a threat of severe weather during this time period. So at that point, you know you need to be weather aware. From there, you may start to see warnings getting issued. These are issued for parts of counties or an entire county, and they're issued in the shape of polygons for the areas that are most at risk of an imminent threat of a severe thunderstorm or even a tornado within a thunderstorm. These warnings typically last about 30 minutes, although flood warnings or flash flood warnings may last for a longer period of time. And again, this means the threat is imminent for your area or already occurring. Now, there's a number of ways you can get your warnings. First of all, your TV, have your radio on. Those will go off. You'll see a crawl at the bottom of the screen on your TV when a warning has been issued and it will list the counties impacted. Also, if you're outdoors at a baseball game or softball game, you could listen for outdoor warning sirens. These are not meant to be heard indoors. And a weather radio. Have a weather radio in your house. These are especially good if you're sleeping. This will wake you up in the night so you can take cover. Finally, use the 13 Warn Me app. The 13 Warn Me app has radar you can look, for, look at. It sends out alerts for severe thunderstorms or even lightning near you if you're outside. So it comes in very handy. You can even watch a live stream video of what's happening on our weather channel. A great way to get your warnings and stay weather aware.